Howdy ho everyone and welcome back to Feel the Snow. We are uh, gonna get right into it and start on continuing our adventure. Uh, we were still supposed to prepare for the night, but we've already gotten through the night, so I'm not 100% sure what our actual goal is at the moment. I'm gonna go talk to the old man again and see, see if he has anything new to say, but for now, I um, feel like we're doing pretty well. Let's see. Let's put our sword on one there so that we make sure to be able to use it. And now I have a new ability where we can attack with our sword, do a special attack, so that's really cool. I'm wondering what that is. Might be some sort of uh, teleporting thing for later. I've learned one thing you must listen. You must prepare for the night. That's when they come. It isn't safe. Okay, well, I am prepared for the night. I I've been prepared for the night over and over again. Dude. Okay, I think it's about to be night, humorously enough, so... I need to get back over there. I know, it's been... ah! I know it's been a couple of days since I've played any of Feel the Snow, and I had uh, uh, more or less said that it was going to be a, a series. Um, but there's been just a lot going on lately. Uh, so, anyway, I'm back back better than ever. I, I know I didn't get any videos out yesterday. I was trying to get ahead on recording, and I was trying to... Uh, get stuff done and uh, you know I released one extra video on Sunday so I kind of internally felt like okay well I released a video on Sunday and I don't normally release anything on Sunday so I'll, that'll be my Monday video and then I'll spend Monday working on things so we're still working on getting ahead and videos and stuff so that uh, we can uh, have videos while I'm in Houston so I'm still gonna be working on on all of those today actually is the day where I'm going to edit all of my pre-recorded ones and get them all ready have them scheduled so that they're gonna be like ready to go and and get out there so I'm I'm pretty excited uh, you know I, I haven't felt quite as motivated for the past couple of days uh, and I'm sorry about that that's I, sh I should be motivated. I should get more motivated, even if I'm not feeling it right then. But uh, late yesterday, we hit 250 subscribers. And so that's super, super cool. Um, thank you all so much again. Um, I'm thinking the, the Surgeon Simulator with Hot Sauce Challenge was the thing that made third place on my poll and there was quite a bit of interest in it so I'll probably do that in celebration of 250 hopefully I get the, the 200 subs horror compilation out before then <laughs> but we'll see I'm gonna record Surgeon Simulator hot sauce tomorrow and get it out as soon as I can so you might see that before the horror compilation just cuz uh, going back pulling out all of my old videos and putting them together and stuff like that takes a fair amount of time just even just for the computer to be able to handle it takes a while because there's a lot of files you have to open and, and pull up and stuff over and over again so um i'm hoping that uh i can get that taken care of in the next couple of days but i'm also trying to get the videos ready for houston so um <laughs> it's all just a big big crazy thing but uh i will get that out as soon as i can so you don't have to worry about that for now i'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the point that it's day so that we can go ahead and get further into this game all right so it's morning and i just got a weird like update and now i'm told that the dark zone is this way which seems kind of strange because i didn't get like a journal update or anything it's just like suddenly like ah here's the dark zone for whenever you're ready to do that and i'm like i'm just how do I know if I'm ready to go to the dark zone? I, dark zone doesn't even mean anything to me. But anyway, I guess I guess the thing to do in the game right now is fight things that I'm capable of beating in a fight. And then uh, that way I'll be able to gain levels. And when I've gained enough levels, I'll be able to actually figure out what's going on instead of just wandering around like this um and obviously get some some more recipes too because i don't have any recipes really at this point either so i just got an armor recipe so that's cool 
awesome. We level up. Okay, so we level up again. I guess I'm gonna increase my just my overall sword strength, especially since I don't have very powerful swords right now. Um, we just got a bow recipe, which is cool. Um, so now we'll be able to start making ranged weapons. Uh, but I'm not overly concerned with that right now. We do need to get some more wood. So let's head over here and knock some trees down and get some wood. I actually just started playing Stardew Valley um, on my Switch because it just came out on the Nintendo Switch recently. And I really, really like it. And it, this just reminded me of it because, you know, obviously there's actually a surprising amount of crafting in Stardew Valley that I didn't realize was going to be there. Um, I knew it was Harvest Moon-like, and I played a lot of Harvest Moon when I was younger, so I expected it to be uh, more of a... Uh, more like that. Uh, and it definitely does have a lot of that. I'm not saying that it's, it's dissimilar at all, uh, but it... Harvest Moon doesn't really have much crafting aside from making food, but this is like, you know, building like workbenches and boxes and stuff like that to stick your stuff in. So it's like, I, if I had realized that it was a, a cross between, you know, kind of the Minecraft sort of stuff and uh, Harvest Moon, I might have started playing it sooner in all honesty, uh, but I went ahead and waited for it to come out on the uh, switch because uh, I didn't see a huge reason not to because I have my switch I like my switch so more games to play on my switch is always a good thing in my opinion so all right so uh, our strength has increased just a little bit so I'm gonna grind just for a minute and then I'll, I'll skip ahead so probably you know skip like 10 minutes of grinding or something like that so that you don't have to sit here and Watch me hit slimes and chickens and stuff. It's different. Ooh, there's animals here. Boars! Am I gonna win this fight? Okay, I won the fight. <laughs> okay, I actually didn't didn't have my uh, that didn't last as long as I thought I would. Uh, the uh, me kind of cutting out there that was only like two or three minutes so you you didn't miss anything i just decided to come exploring this way a little bit and came across this huge area so i'm not sure how much uh feel the snow i'll be playing uh i like it a lot it's actually really cool um the problem is is that i never know what to do in these types of games and i hate to spend all of my time ah whoops I, I don't need your help old man um I really hate to spend all of our time playing something like this where I am unsuccessful so much <laughs> and where the you know the main main thing that I accomplish each day is you know, oh, I built a bed today. Yeah, you know, um, not not that I'm against it at all. I just I just don't feel like it's as enjoyable for you, you know, as as the viewer. And maybe that's presumptuous of me. Maybe I, maybe you all love this game more than life itself. So um, I'd love to hear more more comments about it. And, and hear a little bit more about what people think about it because because I've gotten a you know I've got got gotten a little information from the people who like requested that I play it and stuff like that on it but other than that I haven't heard much and so I don't want to I don't want to just kind of make an assumption there and then everyone else actually hates it or something <laughs> you know not enough mana. I don't have enough mana to go swoosh. I figure out how to use my shield. That's cool, right? Now I can kind of hit her a couple times between each each uh, attack, which is and, and then block, which is super neat. I hadn't figured out how to do that yet. Okay, I want to start this fire back up, and I think I do that with 
There we go. Alright, awesome. That's that's what I needed. I definitely needed to do that. And I just got a small health potion uh, thing, so that's cool. Now we're healing up really quick. So I feel like we're making really good progress. And, and that's not... <clears throat> making progress isn't the reason why I'm kind of like, ah, oh, should we keep playing this game? Uh, really, I'm... I'm, uh... Even though this game has a story, it doesn't seem to have, like, a lot of... A lot, like, guiding me to that story. And I spend half of my time sitting in a house, so... And it's not to say that I don't like the game. Like, I don't, I don't want to give that impression either. I'm actually really enjoying this. I might play it more in my own time. Um, because it's super neat. Um, so, tell me, tell me what you think, and I'll, I'll wait to hear from you before I make any, like, real decisions about whether or not I'm going to continue playing it. I'll definitely release at least a couple more, and we'll try to figure out what we can about the future and stuff, but, you know. All dependent on what what all of you want me to do, because this channel is not just for me. It's not about me and what I want. Uh, it's about us as a as a group and what we want to do with it. So I want it to be reflectant of our interests, you know, especially early on here in the channel. Whenever uh, there's only a, you know, I get between 20 and 50 views on a video, which is awesome. I'm super excited about that. But the cool thing about that being slightly lower number than obviously bigger YouTubers get is that I get to cater my entertainment to you guys as, as my base, as the people who have been here the longest, as the people who frequent me every day. I want to do things that you enjoy. So I know some of you enjoy funner, lighter, goofier games. So things like this work well, although they're not very high energy. Um, and some of you enjoy the, the scary stuff. Uh, I did Dora is Dead, which is a, a Dora the Explorer horror game, believe it or not, uh, on Sunday. And it's already gotten to about 60 views, and it was really fast, too. It, it, it blew up. So I'm going to have to... <laughs> I guess I've got to keep my eye out for weird horror games about Dora the Explorer and stuff now. <laughs> so I'm going to skip through the night really quick. Okay, so uh, it's morning now. So we're going to go ahead and head back this way again and fight more boars. Because I figure that they're uh, a little bit deeper in. So they're probably some of our uh, higher XP targets for us to contend with. So, I will go ahead and head that way and just grab all of this stuff along the way. This is all stacks. I, I, one thing I love about this is that uh, the items really stack well, uh, so I don't have to uh, worry about uh, the uh, thing. He's wrecking me. Okay, there we go. Level up! Woo! Level up! Woo! Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and level that one up now. I, I honestly, you know, I'm not gonna know how to, like, min-max this tech tree or anything like that, you know, I'm just <laughs> probably just gonna be doing what seems cool. If any of y'all have any better advice, uh, I'd be perfectly willing to listen to it, but obviously we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants right now, and right now, uh... It's clear that what we're doing is just trying to get enough equipment and power that we can deal with uh, night more properly on our own. Uh, and then we'll be able to travel further, we'll be able to get further out into the game, we'll be able to search the dark zone, because obviously that's, that's a new thing that we haven't taken a look at yet um during the night i went ahead and crafted a new sword so when this one breaks i'll actually have another one um i really need to i just have to keep fighting because i need to get more recipes and maybe my problem is that i'm i'm trying to fight bigger bad guys than i should maybe a lot of the recipes that i need are going to be held by the slimes and stuff 
So I'm thinking my objective hasn't changed. And I think the reason my objective hasn't changed, or at least the main reason, is likely because uh, I haven't technically prepared for night yet because I don't have a bed in my house. So I think what I have to do is I have to get a recipe for a bed uh, or at least a couple more recipes for my house so that I can uh, make my house a little more homey, you know. <laughs> so I bet you anything that it's going to come down to something along those lines. Uh, stone's easy to come by, so I'll drop that for the moment. A candle. Now, see, even a candle would make sense in being something that I haven't gotten yet, and therefore the game hasn't let me, like, continue. Uh, there's the bed! Okay, yeah, so I think I was getting high-level recipes because I skipped over fighting slimes, and so that was one of my... It was a dumb mistake that I made is that I was trying to... Cloth? The heck am I gonna get cloth? I bet you I have to keep fighting and get a recipe for cloth, too. There's a bad guy around here somewhere, where are ya? I saw ya! There you are! There's my sword breaking, but it automatically re-equipped re my new sword. That's really cool. A lamp. Okay. So we're making some good headway and getting some new equipment and gaining some levels and learning some stuff. And, you know, I don't know. I, I like this game. Uh, so I might keep playing on the channel just, just because of that. But, again, please tell me what, what you guys want to see. Um, I, I take requests. I really do. Um, feel, feel the Snow itself here was a request. And I actually... Uh, picked it up and started playing it uh, the same day that it was requested because um, like I said this is your entertainment this is this is for you so I want to know cloth recipe I want to make things that you find interesting wool well I don't know about you but I haven't found no sheep yet Okay, let's follow the path. Maybe the path will lead us places where we're supposed to be going right now. Man, this music is wonderful. Oh, it's so soothing. I'm sorry I'm being so loud and talking so much. And I guess there's a level of, why would you come to my channel if you aren't here to hear me talk too much? Because that's what I do. <laughs> But, like, I can't get over how beautiful this music is. And it's just soothing. It just really makes me want to just chill out. Just enjoy it. You know? Maybe be a little quiet for a second. Being quiet is important in life, actually. You know, we as a, as a society can't stand quiet. Um, and I don't know why that is. But, uh... I think it's important to allow ourselves to be still and be quiet sometimes. I hear something creepy and evil around. It's this way, I think. Oh, whoa, what are you? The heck are you, man? Whoa, he's tough. Even through my shield, he deals two damage. Ah, now I'm fighting two of them. I don't know if I... I'm not even sure I can handle one. Okay, there we go. We beat that one. I'm okay, I'm okay with this. That seems neat. Got in there. Killed that thing. Get out now. With Get away with my booty. <laughs> okay, let's grab this. Yeah, we as a society, we just can't stand quietness, but being still and thinking and, and listening is important too, you know? Like, we all want to be the first to speak, and we all want to be the last to be heard, and uh, we all want to have our 
have our say about things, and, and that's important, that's good too. I'm not saying that, that we shouldn't all have a voice, not at all. But I'm saying that I feel like a lot of us are, and me included, like, I, first, first among us, I'm the one who sits here and talks on the internet and expects you all to listen. Actually, I don't really expect you all to listen, you just do. Um, um, okay, let's go ahead and get, get some defense. Um, but yeah, still don't know where I'm going to find wool. Sigma fragments. Interesting. <laughs> Little snowman gets chubby up there in the corner. That's great. Um, I'm the last... I'm, I'm, I'm the worst example, you know. I, I never shut up. And I, obviously, I'm surrounded by... Or I, I... I'm the one who decided to start a YouTube channel so that you would all listen to me. <laughs> and I, I never expected anybody to actually come and listen, but but I wanted wanted to do this. Um, so I'm I'm not the right person really to have this conversation, but uh, I think we would all do well to just be still sometimes and listen and hear what other people are saying. I think a large part of why we have the issues in the world that we do is because no one's listening to each other, you know? Um, regardless of what side of any one issue you might land on, um, there's generally speaking merit to what, what someone has to say, and if we if we just paid attention and listened, then, then we wouldn't have as, as much strife, I don't think. So it's something to think about, something to, to try to do in your life, is try to be still and listen and hear what other people are saying sometimes because there's nothing wrong with having an opinion there's nothing wrong with having your turn to speak all those are good things um, but there's also nothing wrong with talking to others and letting and hearing what they have to say I'm gonna skip through the night okay so it's morning again I've gone ahead and uh, started a fire so that we can heal up a little bit before we go out adventuring again I'll probably kill these two slimes that are right here and then I guess we're gonna uh, try to look around a little bit more and see if we can't find where we get wool because I think that's one of our next big things is to uh, get wool and make cloth so that we can make a bed, but I don't know where to find that. Like, nothing I'm fighting drops wool. You don't get wool from chickens or hogs or, uh, snow slimes. Or at least I wouldn't assume you get it from snow slimes, and I haven't seen it coming from snow slimes yet. <laughs> That's where we fall on that. The one thing that I don't know for sure is that you... I don't think you would be able to get it from snow slimes, but also snow slimes aren't giving it, so uh, I don't think we have to worry about whether or not it comes from them. <laughs> so they also don't seem to be too soft and fluffy. There's something this way making noise. Some weird noises. The sound direction is really good in this game, between the music and the, the noise that some of the creatures make. Um, it actually does add a layer of almost uh, eeriness. You know, it's it's a little more... It's a little creepier than I might have thought it would be. Okay, these things, they look like they might have wool. I don't know what you are, monster, but... You could have wool, I suppose. I need to stop hitting twice. I need to hit once. Oh, dang. That thing beat me up. I guess this is some sort of yetis or something. Um, do I want some soup? I'm looking sluggish. You know what, old man? You need some soup. I'm going to eat my marshmallows. That's all I need is marshmallows. Um... See, I would have thought that uh, that would have... I, I'm, I'm surprised that I so easily lost that fight. Um, 
looked like it was going decently, but really I kept making dumb mistakes was a huge part of it. So, my bad. Sorry about that. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're gonna heal up a little bit, then we'll head back over there. We'll beat those things down, see if they drop wool. I don't know. They look furry. At least they had that going for them, right? Uh, marshmallows. Go ahead and cook some of these while we wait on healing. Because they heal us too, and they heal us more when they're cooked. And I'll go ahead and eat. Alright, we are we are good to go now. Uh, that's where we fought those things. So let's just kind of head north of here. Maybe we'll hit on some new things while we're on our way. We'll definitely be able to forage some stuff that we weren't able to forage otherwise. I guess I should keep fighting slimes because they keep dropping recipes, right? They're just so cute and so defenseless, though. Oh, I feel bad every time I kill them. Okay. Quickly read that so that I can get the other one. Okay, I got fishing rod now. So now we've got uh, information on making warm hats, which that's cool. Oh, oh. Potion. Neat. Okay, I wonder if there's things back in the, in town that I could break and get recipes out of. I hadn't thought of that. A chest. Oh my gosh, I needed a chest. Because our inventory has been full for a while, and I've been trying to figure out what I should do about that. So, that's really cool. Alright, so we have made a whole lot of headway today. Um, so I feel pretty comfortable with it. I, the last thing we're going to try to do is go ahead and fight these little big monsters again. Ran. Okay, so I need to take one hit. We gotta trade blows. I take one, I block one, I take one. Because if I don't... Okay, we're taking some damage now. I gotta heal a little bit. And then I, I keep messing up on that one. She's got some sort of charge attack that she does, and I keep keep failing to block on that. Okay, so as awful as it is, we have now successfully taken care of that, which means nothing's going to stop us now. whenever the little ones come out again. Um, it's unfortunate. I don't, you know, I'm not really... What are you... Oh, gosh, they're strong! But I also... Okay, no, I'm not gonna go for their eggs. Okay, well, we got some wool. I don't know if we got enough to do anything with it, but... Um... We definitely finally got some, which is nice. No, I only got one. Dang. How off, How many times am I going to have to fight one of those things to get the wool? Oh, gosh. Okay, well, that's as good a place as any for us to call it a day. You know, we got through a good number of days. We made some real progress. You know, we have our house built, and we've got more things to craft now. So next episode, we'll be able to just craft a bunch of stuff, which should be cool. So we'll be able to focus on mostly... A uh, little bit of fighting just to get the in ingredients we need and then a lot of crafting and working our way up through uh, the different tiers of, of crafting and stuff. Yeah, I need to, in order to make this adorable warm hat, I also need to have cloth. So that's, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, for now, that's all that I have for this. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that you have enjoyed it. And we can make a candle. So let's go ahead and make a candle. What, what can I do with a candle? Candle. I didn't, I didn't, I don't have a candle now. I don't know where it went. 
Oh, it's there on the ground. And put it on a table. Neat. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. For now, this is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games. Sign on! This has been Feel the Snow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it in the future, please like and comment below. If you're new to the channel and you would like to be notified of new videos, consider subscribing. Like my channel? Want to see it grow? Share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again, everyone. Sayonara.